Beyonce put out two new songs. You know, she putting out a country album, right? And my whole thing is this, though, right? The more I think about it, I also think about the fact that, you know, this is her, you know, she grew up in Texas. You know what I'm saying? She definitely grew up in Texas. And the thing of it is, you know, when I was reading a little bit of back search, I did a little research on it. Well, Beyonce, you know, her roots, you know, was in Texas and, you know, listening to country music. You know what I'm saying? It, I was reading a little bit of information. I was able to gather where she they was. She was it was a, a person that was talking about her upbringing in a sense of related to country music. And from what I read, what I said, when I found online is that Beyonce definitely was influenced by country music. You know what I'm saying? And so for her to put out a country record, right? For her to put out uh, Texas Hold'em, I just feel like for her to get the backlash that she's getting, you know what I'm saying? I've seen some radio station. I'm not f- familiar with the name of it, but one uh, station was saying that they were not willing to play her record right because you know was it race motivate motivated i'm not sure but if you go back and you look at history of of r&b artists i know uh k michelle she put out a country record and i do remember k michelle recently was saying how she was getting you know she felt like there was some type of discrimination uh that was affecting her to, you know, for people to respect her, you know, her craft and country music, you know, with K. Michelle. So you fast forward today with Beyonce putting out her country record, right? And you, you know, you hear things. I, I seen to read a few comments where, you know, other people on different podcasts, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Star Report. You know, a couple of people, I was watching him earlier today. He had a few people that came on that saying they, they did not like the Beyonce record. Now, you entitled to your own opinion. You know what I'm saying? You entitled to how you feel about a record. Hey, man, I'm not here to knock that. But my whole thing is that why can't Beyonce do a country record? You know what I'm saying? It's like. I feel like a lot of times, especially in, in, in the black community and black Americans with, you know, foundational black Americans, I feel like a lot of times they want to pigeonhole us. You know what I'm saying? So when I think about the Beyonce record now, let's let me keep it real with you. I'm not big on country music. Right. But at the same time, why can't Beyonce do a uh, do a country record? You feel me? Why can't Beyonce? You know, because I was a little bit of information I read earlier how she said she was highly influenced, you know, in her upbringing, listening to country music. And she's from Texas. Right. So if she want to do a country record, I mean. And from what I heard, I mean, when I heard to, to listen to the Texas Hold'em, I felt like. I felt like it wasn't a bad record. You know what I mean? It's not something I would personally listen to because, once again, I'm not big on country music. But at the same time, sonically, you know, it sound okay to me. You know what I mean? It's something I wouldn't mind listening to if it come on the radio if I'm, or if I'm on YouTube, you know, and I come across the video. I wouldn't mind watching it. You know what I'm saying? Like I did earlier when I checked it out. I didn't know that uh, Beyonce was putting out a country album. You feel me? I should have knew something was up because this last couple of weeks I've been noticing, you know, her wearing a hat, wearing a cowboy hat, you know, so it kind of makes sense now. But I just feel like this, right? For Beyonce to have the record that she have in a sense of, you know, she won all these Grammys. I want to say she won up to almost 30 Grammys if she haven't already. Um or she won a lot. I'm not exact on the number, but I know it's up there, right? So for her, her body of work shows that she know how to make a hit, whether she write it or not, she still got to sing it. So for her to recognize 
You know what I'm saying? What works for her? That's a that's a skill within itself. You know what I mean? Because I noticed some people be like, oh, she don't write her records. And, you know, especially with country music, you know, it's a certain feel. OK, I give you that. Right. But at the same time, it, it, what is that? How do you explain how somebody can pick the right songs to sing? That's another skill, too, because you can be a great writer. But if you don't know how to write songs for yourself, you know, that you see it all the time. Some of these writers, you know what I'm saying? They can write hits for a whole bunch of artists. But then when they put out their product, <laughs> they put out their album. It's like, eh, you should let somebody else sing it. You know what I'm saying? So. I personally feel like, you know. Writing is a skill, but also knowing what song to pick, what beat to pick. You know what I mean? Knowing how to, okay, yeah, you wrote this song, but let's tweak this. Let's do that. It's an art within that as well. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like some people call themselves a producer. Just because you're a producer, that doesn't mean like musically. Some some people be like, oh, I'm a producer. But that doesn't necessarily mean they actually make the beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got beat makers, then you have producers, then you have producers that are beat makers. They they do not have to be the same person. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that to say this. It's funny that, you know, country music and, and culture, you know, they want to protect it for the authentic, you know, for it to be authentic as, you know, as possible. You know, because from what I hear with country music, if you're not if you're not engulfed in the culture of country music or, you know, come from a certain type of uh, place, you know, where you putting this music together, you know, was frowned upon. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of funny to me. Right. That's kind of funny to me because I feel like if you want to gatekeep the country music scene. Right. Which you have a right to. I'm not saying not to have a gatekeep when it comes to the culture of the music. But if, if you want to say that. Right. If you want to say, OK, when it comes to country music, you know, here are the standards and requirements in terms of conditions of how you can do this thing. Right. I feel like when it comes to hip hop, we need to have the same thing. You feel me? And hip hop, R and B, blues. I, I know we used to do country music as well. You know what I'm saying? But that pretty much was was blues music the way I take it. I might be wrong, but somebody, you know, leave a comment or two. But I personally feel like if other um, other cultures want to protect and preserve the type of music that they want to represent, I feel like that's that's fine. You can protect it, right? But I feel like on the flip side, when it comes to hip-hop, R&B, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the culture of which, you know, African-Americans cultivated and created, we need to start to curate it as well, meaning... I feel like when it comes to the hip hop culture, you know what I'm saying? It needs to be get gatekeeped in a positive way as well. You know what I'm saying? Control who comes in and comes out and you know what I mean? And you have to have certain type of terms and conditions if you want to do it that way. Right. That's how I feel. That's my opinion about it. Cause it's like, if everybody else going to have their terms and conditions, why not hip hop have their terms and conditions, some type of union? I said this many videos ago. I personally feel like when it comes to hip hop, R&B culture, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the culture that, you know, African-Americans created, I feel like it need to be some type of union involved with that as well. You know what I'm saying? Saying, OK, if you want to come into this culture, OK, you can do that. But here are the requirements, because with a union, you know, they welcome anybody in. But you still have to meet certain terms and conditions and requirements for you to get into the union. So I'm for it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to protect and preserve, um, 
you know, a culture, I feel like you have every right to do that, right? But I also feel on the flip side of that, everybody else should be able to do the same. Not a segregation, not being prejudiced, not, you know what I'm saying, trying to do something malicious to anyone. That's not what I'm talking about. I am not here to promote any type of criminal activity or violence, none of that. That ain't what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is gatekeeping and having a terms and conditions for anybody that want to be involved with this thing. You know what I'm saying? Which would be, you know, hip hop or uh, FBA culture, whatever you want to call it in America. I feel like if it was created in America, uh, uh, definitely for from black Americans, it should be some type of uh, terms and conditions and requirements you have to meet to get in it. You feel me? Because if, if anybody else want to do that for their music, why can't black Americans do the same for theirs? You feel me? So shout out to Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? The Texas Hold'em, I'm going to go back and listen to it. I know it's another song out there that she put out, but I'm going to go back and listen to the Texas Hold'em record again, and, and I'll come back with another opinion. But I, But like I said, if anybody want to protect, you know, when it comes to country music and the culture, okay. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like that's what you want to do, okay, that's fine. Well, guess what? On the flip side, when it comes to R&B, when it comes to, you know, hip hop, jazz, all these different things, right? Anything that, you know, African-Americans have created or, you know what I'm saying? Or something that's cultural uh, to, uh, you know, to foundational black Americans, we should be able to have that same terms and conditions as well. Not saying that you can't be a part of it. Not saying that this is only for a certain group of people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it should be some type of union terms and conditions when somebody want to get involved in this culture or this certain, you know, this type of music. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my little two cents what I feel about the Beyonce situation and the backlash she's getting uh, for the country record and also the album, uh, I believe, that's coming out soon. If it's not already out, I'm going to have to check iTunes. But like I said, I listened to the Texas Hold'em. I thought it was an okay record. Now, like I said earlier, I'm not big on country music, so I'm not going to sit here and act like I know everything. I, I definitely don't. But I know what sonically sounds good to me. And I thought that I, I thought that song, Texas Hold'em, it wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible to me, you know? But will I go back to it? Probably not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I feel like why she can't do it. I mean, when it comes to hip-hop, everybody named Mama want to do hip-hop, right? You know what I'm saying? No matter what color you are, what culture you are, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to have some type of hip-hop in their music and you know tv shows or online platforms and you you know you want to say certain words you want to wear certain clothes you feel me you want to you know do the graffiti you want to pop lock you want to do all these different things that's kind of like a ripoff from something that was created from black americans so it's like my whole thing is if it's okay for everybody to to take something from you know black Americans that was created from black Americans, right? Why can't they also have some type of uh, clearance you have to go through or some type of union you have to go through, you know, for you to get that approval stamp before you can go out here and just do whatever music you want based around hip hop culture. Cause if you want to protect your country music, that's fine. We, but I just feel like when it comes to the hip hop culture as well, it should be that same protection, you know, some type of terms, conditions, union or, you know, some type of uh, uh, chairman. You know what I'm saying? It should be something of that realm where um, it also have some type of protection for the culture of uh, hip hop and everything that's associated with it. You feel me? So, you know, that's the. I, that's how I personally feel because I just, you know, there's nothing wrong with anybody wanting to preserve and protect their culture. I, I respect anybody that want to protect their culture to a degree. You feel me? 
music, whatever it is, you know, it's just, it's a, you know, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. As long as it's not race based or, you know what I'm saying? The discrimination. I'm not for none of that. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm just saying in a sense of having some type of requirement when people want to use hip hop music, when they want to, you know, cause it's like, I'll tell you with this Beyonce conversation, I can really go in. Right. And I'm trying to keep it, you know, <laughs> on a certain level. But this is the thing, right? I feel like when it comes to the country record with Beyonce, whether you like it or not, right? I just feel like she should be given that cachet to experiment with it. I mean, as long as it's done with respect and taste, you may not like it. But did she do it with taste? You know what I'm saying? Because it's one thing with somebody just ripping something off like they do hip hop all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different cultures that take hip hop and spin it and add some fast beats or slow beats or throw an extra tick, tick, tick to it. And let's try to name it something else. But if you listen, if you break it down to the basics, it's still hip hop. You know what I mean? So I just feel like if anybody want to protect and preserve their type of music when it comes to hip hop culture as a whole it should be some type of uh protection as well you feel me you know what i'm saying because it's just like what a union at your job right if you work at a job that's union they don't discriminate towards race no they just have a requirement. You have to pay a fee. You have to be within the company for so long. I mean, it's just so many different things. I'm just talking about just breaking it down to a basic work level. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And then you pay a certain union due each year, month, or whatever, right? long as you want to use this type of music, okay, boom. This is the requirement. You know, I'm just giving a general statement. I'm just giving a blanket type of, you feel me? type of statement statement overall i'm just trying to get that thought process to think of and get an understanding of what i'm saying here you feel me because if you want to come at beyonce you want to say that she, you know she don't write her her music she didn't write the country song you know you got to live it you can't just be regurgitating words okay okay i give you that but if you say that if that's the requirement, I just feel like when it comes to hip hop culture, rap, R&B, whatever you want to call it, you feel me? The imagery, how, uh, especially you go to different countries, man, you know, a lot of different countries, they Im Im emulate a lot of African-American style. And that's not a knock to nobody. I'm not coming at nobody. I'm just saying, in general, I am speaking, right? So if anybody want to protect, you know, their music, their culture, you know, whatever your belief system is, I feel like you should have a right to do that, you know, to a degree, right? And I'm just saying, on the flip side of that, when it comes to hip hop culture and who's allowed in and who's, you know, what's what's required of, it should be the same on the other end. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So that was like a 20 minute rant. I just want to conversate about it. I didn't expect it to be that long, but I just had to say my little piece. You know what I'm saying? So the title of this is uh They Lost. <laughs> they lost. Now this 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 topic, you know, I've been thinking about this topic for a couple of days, right? I've been thinking <clears throat> I've been thinking about you know how 